Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing more of a fun video. I'm going to be doing my entire face with mini products. Now, as you can see, this bag is full of mini slash sample size products that I'm going to use today in order to complete a full face. I have seen this going around in a couple other YouTubers videos, like I saw Laura Lee do this, I saw Adeline Maureen do this, I've seen a couple people do this, and I thought it was a really fun video because I have, I mean I was going through my stuff and I seem to have a lot of just like sample size or just a smaller sizes of everything, um, as well as the full size companion. I don't have the full size of everything in this bag, but I do have the majority of it. It's kind of fun to compare how much product you get in comparison to the larger size. So if you want to see what kind of makeup look I come up with using these mini products, then stay tuned. So I'm going to open up my bag here, and I'm first going to start off with primer. I have the Becca Skin Love Primer. And this is a Brighten and Blur primer, which is great because I need something to fill in my pores. This is still brand new. I never get these little seals off, so I'm just going to take my tweezers. There we go. And I'm just going to... Oh, it's a little bit more creamy than I would have thought at first. But let's see how it feels on the face. Mm. Ooh, it smells like cucumber. Very fresh, very cucumber-y. This doesn't feel very blurring. Not like my Cover Effects blurring primer, or even just like professional. Um, it feels a little bit more tacky, which of course, you know, you want to kind of have it in a primer. But it says blur and brighten, so I'm kind of confused by that. It's infused with Glow Nectar Brightening Hydra Complex. Now, I don't know what all that means, but overall, let's see what this does for the face. Hmm, it didn't really blur much. I could still see some of my pores. And I don't know if my skin looks brighter. I mean, it does look a little bit more hydrated, but overall, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see what happens when we put on foundation. For foundation, I have the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I do have the full size of this, so these are both of them together. So they are in the same component, same glass component, and you get, I wonder how much you it. You get 0.2 fluid ounces in the mini, and you get a whole fluid ounce in the large size, pretty standard foundation size. And they're both in the shade Toasted Wheat, which is a pretty good shade match for me um, when I don't have a tan. It still has uh, the same doe foot applicator that you get in the full size product, which is kind of cool. Usually, you don't really see that. So I'm just going to apply this to the face. So this is foundation and concealer. First, I'm just going to start off using it as a foundation blend it out and then go back and add a little bit more for concealer to blend that out i have this pure mini sponge in comparison here's a dry beauty blender and here's the pure mini sponge so as you can see they're kind of the same size let me compare it to my favorite morphe sponge this is a dry morphe sponge and this is the pure sponge together so it's kind of and i did wet it so it's kind of the full size of a dry sponge which is kind of fun but let's see how this blends out foundation so it looks like this foundation is picking up a lot lighter on camera which is kind of funny because this normally is a good shade match for me when I'm not tan. I went to Corpus in August and I did get a good tan there, but I mean, it's already October. I feel like it should have faded by now, but as you can see, it is pretty light in comparison to my skin. So we'll just have to extra bronze that out. It 
the sponge is doing a pretty good job of blending in the foundation. I didn't really expect that because it is a little bit harder. As you can see, it is absorbing a lot of the product. So, I don't know. I'm still getting pretty full coverage, though. This foundation, since it is a concealer and foundation in one product, it is pretty full coverage. Now, I am going to add a little bit of it for concealer. Digging into my bag of tricks, I am now going to use some mini cream products. First, I'm going to use the mini banana stick contour by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh my god, look at how much product you get in this. KKW scandal. I actually don't have the full size of this in comparison, but it'll be just kind of like a normal stick foundation. You should get way more than this. But I'm going to just brighten up my under eye with this. Oh my god, I think I already used like all of it just on this. Since it is that banana shade, I am going to do a little bit of highlighting since uh, the concealer and the foundation were the same color. Now I'm going to take my Clinique Chubby Contour Stick. As you can see, don't get a whole lot in this either. But I'm just going to use this to contour and bronze the face. And I'm going to blend that out using my pure sponge. Sometimes cream products are really stiff, but with the Clinique one, as you can see, it just blends out really easily. And you don't really have to worry about it anymore after that. Like, love that. Look at that. Blends out super easy. Sometimes you have to go back with a little bit of product because it does, since it's so, like, blendable, it does sometimes blend out to nothing. So, like, on my forehead... I'm going to add a little bit more and then blend it out. I do like having more of a bronzed forehead. See, yeah, like that. Love the way that looks. My nose looks super contoured now. I think I left it too long under my eye. This is not really blending out the easiest under my eye anymore. I don't know if this is supposed to have any coverage to it. The Banana Anastasia Contour Stick because I can still see a little bit of darkness under the eye. This is definitely going to crease like if I don't set this right away. I'm going to take my Mini Cover Effects Setting Powder. So this is the full size Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. and this is the mini so in comparison like you get 0.35 in the full size and you get 0.035 in the mini which is insane now oh my god it even with the mini you even get the little stopper it comes with which is really cute like in the full size you get the lid, which is really funny. I'm gonna, I guess I'm, I always, hmm, how am I gonna do this? So I always put some powder into my cap. So I guess I'm gonna do that with this. Oh my God, this is like not enough powder to like set my entire like face or anything. I'm going to use this whole thing like on my face. I swear I am. So first I'm going to blend out any creasing. Yeah, you see this creased so bad. Grab some of that powder. Um, I'm just going to set it because I don't have time to bake with this little powder. This side normally doesn't crease as much so I didn't have to go back and buff anything out which is nice but I'm just going in and setting it with my powder. I'm not going to go too far out like I normally would when I bake because I have a cream highlighter that I want to use. And it's the Milk Makeup. It just has highlighter. There's like no shade on this or anything. But 
Are you, you kind of get a lot in here for a mini product actually. Um, it looks like a champagne gold color. Oh yeah, that's picking up on camera really pretty. These, a part of me just wants to swipe it on, but I know with cream highlighters, you don't want to do that. So I'm actually going to just take a little bit on the back of the sponge and blend it on the skin. Is that picking up on camera? Oh yeah, really pretty, really soft. Actually, I just wanna see if I just do this. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah, it did remove some of my foundation right here, but hey, it's a pretty highlight though. I'm actually not having the easiest time blending this out. I mean, that's a really pretty highlight. So I'm gonna... I am battling like an old breakout, so I do have a little bit of texture there. But let's see if this highlighter is gonna emphasize that. I mean, I don't know if it's the stick or the sponge, but I feel like it kind of almost disappears into the skin, which I'm not loving. Oh yeah, that totally lifted like all my foundation right there. But oh my God, look at that glow though. You know, I'm kind of willing to let it go because it's such a pretty highlighter. So I'm not gonna go too overboard with the highlighter because I also have a powder highlighter that I wanna use as well. So I'm just kind of hitting the normal places where I would highlight with cream first and then go in with my powder highlight. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face and I'm going to need way more powder than this. So I'm going to dump out a little bit more. I'm going to grab the end of the sponge and then just start. Kind of start setting everywhere where I didn't put cream products on. That way when I put on my other powder products, then I won't have any problem with it grabbing. Now that I have set the rest of my face, I'm going to move on. I'm going to add a little bit of blush. So I'm going to use this mini NARS Orgasm that I have here. I'm just going to use this brush right here. Um, this doesn't have a name to it, also doesn't have a brand, because I bought this at Macy's for like $2, so that's that. So I'm just going to add a little bit. It is really fluffy, so it is really nice. Is that doing anything? I don't feel like NARS ever, I mean NARS Orgasm anyway, ever like does anything for my skin tone, even if I'm like digging in there. I mean, I guess it's giving me a little bit of a blush i don't even like blush that much anyway so i mean i shouldn't be complaining in the first place okay now we're done with blush i actually don't have a mini bronzer i couldn't find one i thought i had a mini park avenue princess in my collection but i don't so we're just gonna leave just the cream bronzer and let it do its thing oh my god my under eyes look super bright thanks to that banana anastasia shade but i mean i don't hate it Next, I'm going to go in with a mini Becca highlighter. This is in the shade Champagne Pop. So I do have, this is the new um, Champagne Pop Collection Compact, but this is the comparison to both of them. As you can see, you don't- Oh my god, I almost dropped it. <laughs> um... In the regular champagne pop, you get 0 0.25 ounces, and in the baby one, you get 0 0.085, so you don't get a whole lot in the mini. And actually, I think they actually sell this mini size for, I think, $20. Which I think is a little outrageous for a mini product. So I actually don't have a mini highlight brush, so I'm just going to go in with my trusty Anastasia A23 brush and grab a little bit of that. Cause I did put the cream highlighter down, so I don't want this to be too, oh yeah, 
just with that one sweep. Oh yeah. I'm barely like tapping into this and like, look, like it's blinding. Jacqueline Hill definitely made a good highlighter. I'll, I'll give her that. Anything else? I don't know. I mean, look at that. That's just like, it's just like blinding. I'm not even like touch, I'm barely, tu I'm barely like <laughs> touching it. Okay, I need to stop. I'm gonna get very carried away with the highlighter. I'm actually gonna go back with my sponge and kind of tap it out a little bit. As you saw in my first video, I don't really like highlighting my forehead, but I mean, I'll just take whatever's left over on the brush and kind of do a little bit of that. In the middle of things, I usually like to set a little bit, but I'm just going to use this mini Smashbox primer water and it's actually glass. So, I mean, for a mini size, it's pretty good. So this is the new version of the, of this, but as you can see, that is a pretty big difference. In the full size, you get 3.9 fluid ounces. And in the mini, you get 0 0.16, which is not a whole lot. But again, these are mini products, so you're not supposed to get a lot. Oh, this is good. This is way more aggressive than the full size mister is. Let's move on to brows. So for brows, I have... So this is technically not a mini product, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow, and it's small, so I mean, it counts. I'm going to first use the Benefit Gimme Brow on my brows, obviously. Now that I have filled in my brows using Gimme Brow, I'm actually going to go on top of it with a mini Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel, just to do the most. So the Gimme Brow already kind of holds your brows in place, so I don't need to do this step, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to. I do have the full size of this, but I actually don't know where it is. So it is smaller, just know that. After brows, let's do some eyeshadow. So I have the Mini Urban Decay Primer Potion that we're going to use to, oh, it's a squeeze tube. So the f I have the full size of this too. The full size of this has a wand, but the mini has a squeeze tube, which is interesting to me. So I'm going to first prime my eyes. Okay, now we are nice and primed. And for eyeshadow today, I'm going to use this Clinique Six Pan Shadow Palette. Oh my god. This is technically a full-size product uh, when you compare it to let's say my Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette you can definitely see that it is not really full size as far as you know makeup is concerned so I'm going to use this on my eyes today I'm going to first take a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush which is just a fluffy crease brush I'm going to tap into oh, the shades are in the back. Um, light shade of butter toast duo. Yes, I'm gonna dip into that first for <laughs> that. Eye. Oh my god, that has a lot of pigment. I was actually not expecting that at all. Wait, does this is this are these all shimmers? These are all shimmer shades. There's like not one matte shade in this. Okay, so I guess we're just going to have a full shimmer look today. Oh my god. Slept on. Like, this white shade, like, look at how much pigment that has. I mean, I don't even, like... Is that even going to work for this? Should have just set it with translucent powder. Okay, so <laughs> we have that pigmented shade on. Now I'm going to dip into this one right here which is dark shade of butter toast so basically what 
So it seems like these are shades that are taken from original palettes that they have already. So I'm going to dip into this darker brown shade. I'm going to put that into the crease using the same JH30 brush. Oh my god, it's shimmer. Mm, I don't know. I mean, this kind of goes against everything that I've learned with eyeshadow application, so I don't know what to do. I don't have another mini palette. Oh no. Okay. I'm just gonna make this work. Taking that same shade on the other eye. Um, I feel like that's working. It's not really like catching up on camera because I feel like maybe since it's a shimmer shade, it's just grabbing like weird on camera. I mean, you can kind of see the dimension there for sure, but I don't know, y'all. I'm going to put this darker brown color. It's called Olive in My Martini. Okay, so it's actually not a brown, but it looks brown in a pan. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to do it. And I'm going to use that on my Morphe M138 brush. Oh, this has a lot of kickback to it. This has a lot of kickback to it, which hopefully that means it's going to blend. And I'm going to put that on the outer edge of my eye. I mean, that kind of worked. Okay, so I think we're getting somewhere with that. I'm just going to take this olive shade on my lash line. Oh my god. I mean, for the lash line, it's slaying me. Is that... Is that good? I like... I don't... I don't know how to feel. Is that like... Is that fine? Are we like okay with this? Is he having a freak out about eyeshadow for five minutes straight? I mean, that's what I should name this video actually. Like, do we like that? Like, is that good? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all tell me. <laughs> it actually came with these god awful eyeshadow applicators. So I'm just going to take that and use it on this bronzy color and put that on the lid, I guess. I mean, that's pretty. Is it showing up in camera? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty. I don't think I'm ever gonna reach for this again, y'all. We're kind of here in this place with the eyeshadow. I kind of feel like I'm okay with it. Would I have used a matte crease shade? Of course, but we didn't have that, so. It's kind of rolling with it, y'all. That's enough for eyeshadow. So, I don't have a mini liner or a mini pencil liner so we're gonna skip liner all together for mascara i have the mini tarte lights camera lashes mascara and i do have this one this is limited edition packaging but as you can see not a whole lot i don't know how i feel for man i mean the thing about the eyeshadows is since they were like shimmer shades they did blend out pretty easily which is i mean nice but i'm going to go in and use this mascara as you can see it has a pretty standard wand so this mascara is giving me really good separation. Not a whole lot of volume, but separation for sure. So it's just one coat of the mascara, and I feel like it gave me pretty good separation, but I don't feel like it did I mean, much else than that. Um, I'm gonna go in for another coat. I mean, on the second coat, it looks a lot better, but I don't... I still don't know how I feel about it. <clears throat> My lashes look pretty, but other than that, I have this Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter in Kitten Karma, so I'm actually gonna take a little bit of that. Yes, 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 yes. I'm actually gonna take the eyeshadow applicator because I don't wanna use my finger. You know what, I think that helped the eye look a million times. When in doubt, just add some glitter. <laughs> I don't know. I guess these are fine if you're in a pinch, but other than that. So I am going to move on to lips. And for lips, I actually have four different mini lip glosses and lipsticks. So I'm going to use all of them because why not? 
I have two shades of the Tarte lip paint. I have the shade Get It and the shade Rosé. This is the shade Get It and this is the shade Rosé. I'll take Rosé first. I don't have a mini lip liner, so I just have to go in like this. So I'm going to put Rosé on the outside of the lips, and then I'm going to put, what was this called? Get it, exclamation point, in the middle. Mm. I don't love that color on me. It definitely looks a little too light. <laughs> I have this issue with lipsticks where I don't really find a shade that I like. That's why I tend to stick with glosses since they're a little bit more forgiving. So I have two glosses here. I have the Clinique Lip Gloss in the shade Rosewater Pop. And then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Toffee. So I know these have more pigment to them, the Anastasia Hill, Beverly Hills blend. So I'm going to put that one on first. Oh, yes. Okay. This shade is more of a brown, like, nude shade, which I am definitely here for. I think this is going to help the lighter base look a lot better. Okay, so then I'm going to add a little bit of the Clinique lip gloss to kind of give it more shine and kind of neutral out the color because I feel like it, now I made it too brown and this is the color that we came up with I mean it's definitely very glossy I'm going to set it all this is the last step guys so now I'm going to set it all using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I do have the full size of that and this is it in comparison uh, they actually have a bigger travel size. This is like the mini, mini one. In the Urban Decay Full Size, you get 4.0 fluid ounces. And in the mini one, you get 0 0.50 fluid ounces. So you almost get a fluid ounce in this, which is not too bad for a mini. But I'm going to use this just to set my makeup. Oh my god. Oh my god, it... it Hello? It literally just ran out. Okay, so it actually just ran out, like, completely. So, never mind. You don't get a lot of product in that. I did have enough to fully set. And I'm just going to go in and kind of... So guys, what do you think of the makeup look I was able to come up with using only mini products? I feel, given the circumstances, I feel like I was able to make a somewhat manageable look. I mean, the eyeshadow got a little bit crazy, but we just slapped some glitter on it and called it a day, which is really what you can do with any look or any issue you're having. Just throw some glitter on it, really. I mean, the brows aren't my favorite either because I like to use a brow pencil. I mean, they look really natural, so that's nice. I'm not living for this color of lip gloss slash lipstick, but I mean, we did use four different lip products, so I mean, what else did I expect for the outcome? Either way, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, do all the things for me, please, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.